Hey guys, Zerka here and welcome back to my Mule Career Mode series and uh, we're going to start off this episode going straight into a game against Norwich and I haven't really been uploading uh, my Career Mode series uh, that much as of late. I've been trying to uh, focus on trying to get an Ultimate Team series like going and on a constant upload. Um, so I've got my series that I'm currently doing which is called Packed Out. So if any of you guys haven't seen it you might want to check it out if that's if you're interested in Ultimate Team that is. Um, and that's just a series where I'm doing a normal road to glory, but instead of like obviously going out and buying players, I can only get players and improve my squad uh, from packs. So it makes it a very difficult and challenging series, and hopefully that can make it like hopefully that can make it interesting enough for me to carry on doing it. Because usually when I've done ultimate team series in the past, I tend to get quite bored once I've got a half decent team, and then I kind of like don't really know what to do to switch it up. Um, but yeah, you see, we're in a game here against Norwich. I believe it's Norwich again. I'm playing against Norwich again. Really? I guess I am. I'm hoping that's not an editing mistake. We're playing against Norwich here, and you see, I take a one-nil lead. Oh yeah, this is the replay of the FA Cup game. Uh, I drew one-all against them in the last episode uh, in an FA Cup game. So this is the replay, obviously, of that game. Um, so take a one-nil lead. Redmond picking up the goal there early on. Twentieth uh, minute here. Redmond with the ball. Uh, gets tackled and then kind of it kind of falls around a bit. Falls to Vidal again. Falls just the EA aids is all over the place. And luckily it's on my side this time. And it falls to Benzia. Benzia turns and shoots into an open net uh, to make it two 0 and kind of like put us in a very like good position to actually win the game and not have any uh, difficulties at all throughout the whole game. Two 0 up in 22 minutes, especially against the computer. You they tend to not really be able to come back. Uh, you see 25th minute here. Vidal needs to make a tackle and then passes it like to himself almost, uh, uses his pace to get to the ball first and then shoots first time and that is then saved by Norwich's goalkeeper there. I think Norwich's goalkeeper is Ruddy and he always seems to do very well against us, I don't know, maybe I signed the wrong Norwich goalkeeper, although Jed Steer's been doing very well for us. Um, but Teddy scores a goal, they have a pretty nice goal as well, they play the ball into the box, uh, Teddy gets there and half volleys it into the, uh, the corner uh, to make it 2-1 and give Norwich a lifeline and give them a glimmer of hope of getting back into the game. We move into the second half now and uh, Norwich again on the attack and they do it somehow, the ball goes up in the air and uh, he goes to the bicycle kick and it just goes, uh, I'm not going to say the word, it goes wide. Um, uh, 50 second minute here, Benzio the ball, uh, does some nice skills, gets past the defender and then goes for the near post shot but that is again then saved by the Norwich goalkeeper. Um, Houseman with the ball here, down the left hand side uh, and then I think Aki's trying to defend against him. He gets past him, puts the cross in, it's great last hit defending there from Baragi to stop them from equalising. Uh, Murphy with the ball here, gets tackled, uh, Teti then picks up the ball and uh, has, I think he gets tackled as well, that probably was a foul to be honest. Picks up the ball again here and this is like some really squeaky bum time for me. Teti managed to get past the defenders but then like somehow managed to miss that shot, he pretty much had a, not an open goal but it was very easy to score from that angle that he was at and he managed to miss that. Uh, Moalad tried to play a tramp goal. I played try to play a tramp goal there across with Moalad Mo Mo over to Vidal, uh, but that was intercepted there. So that was my bad. I probably should have easily scored that. So again, some more squeaky bum time right at the last minute of the game there. Uh, they had a header there that went just slightly over the bar, and luckily we managed to come out of that game with a 2 1 victory, putting ourselves through to the next round of the FA Cup, I believe it is. It might not be the FA Cup, it may be the Capital One Cup. Uh, it's the FA Cup. So yeah, that we, we put ourselves through to the next round of the FA Cup. So that's always what we want to do because our objectives for the season are actually to win. Uh, one of these cups so we need to make sure we stay in it as long as we possibly can uh, to make sure we don't upset our uh, board. So you go into our next game here against Sunderland, uh, so we see a league game and you see we're sitting in second place only two points away from Chelsea at the top and I believe Man City on the same points as us as well. So in the 13th minute here, Bitten Court gets played through and uh, it kind of gets caught up by the defender there so he tries to shoot earlier than he would have normally done. Uh, that goes wide, pretty poor shot to be honest. LeCoint picks up the ball here and uh, he does a nice body fake here I believe, cuts it inside and then he uh, passes it to Vidal who then turns and shoots and that is saved at the post uh, by their goalkeeper. 44th minute here, the ball is played over to the top towards Conor Wickham who then brings it down and puts it into the net to make it 1-0 to Sunderland and uh, scores in that 45th minute goal that, that EA aids kind of got if one says but to be honest it was probably just poor defending on my behalf. Um, but regardless they scored on the stroke of half time and it's always a good time for any team to score uh, so it's going to be difficult for me to come back in the second half. Uh, Vidal with the ball here, 47th minute, using his pace to get down the left hand side, cuts in with a body fake but then shoots really early. I don't know why I shot really early there. Uh, I don't know what was running through my mind. I thought I was just going to get a wonder goal and clearly that didn't happen. 
Um, Canton picks up the ball here, plays it to Vidal again, who then turns and shoots, uh, goes to the opposite post that he was facing, and uh, managed to make that one all. Gives the equaliser and gets back up, get ourselves back in that game, not too uh, late into the second half. So we have enough time to actually be able to, to put ourselves in front. We've obviously got 30 minutes left of the game to try and put ourselves in front and get the win and try and uh, catch up with Chelsea, who are obviously sitting in first at the moment. Uh, Vidal plays the ball here to Le Quint. 61st minute here. Plus a nice body fake. I'm loving that body fake skill against the, in career mode, against the computer. And uh, Vidal gets played through there, and for some reason I went for the lob. I don't even know why. The goalkeeper wasn't even out, and I went for the lob. Uh, so that was a bad mistake by me. That could have put us ahead, and I wasted it. And they wasted their chance there. They got played through a bit of, bit of a trampy goal. Well, no, not a bit of a trampy goal. A bit of a trampy setup. Um, but they dragged that quite badly wide from the position they was in. Now, Lecointe with the ball here, playing on the edge of the area, plays it to Bittencourt, but that gets intercepted, then falls again back to Bittencourt, who then managed to turn, get past the defenders, and shoot with his left foot uh, to make it 2-1, puts us in front, 81st minute, so there wasn't really much time for Sutherland to get back in the game, so what I had to do really was just hold on uh, to that victory, play the ball around, uh, play some slow football, and uh, that is exactly what I did, see the replay here, left foot, put, goes in near post, and uh, that game finishes 2-1, after I managed to hold on to the ball for the last 10 minutes really. And that gives us our vital three points that we really need uh, to make sure we can keep up with Chelsea. Because as it stands, if we can keep up with Chelsea, what we need to do is them. It's all the pressure is on them to slip up. If we can just keep winning, the pressure as soon as they slip up, we're sitting in first, and that's probably the strongest position we've ever. I don't think we've ever actually sat in first uh, on this moment ever at any point so far. So it'd be really good if we can get out there. Um, has he got an offer here? An interesting offer from Wolfsburg. 18 million for Jed Steer. Now Jed Steer has really kind of come into life recently. Really started to perform really well for us. Um, so I wasn't willing to sell him for 18 million, so I thought I'd try and counter for about 7 million more, 25 million, sounded like a rounded a rounded price. And they actually rejected that because they thought the Jed Steer wasn't worth that much. And uh, that is the end of today's episode, a really short episode today, I know, I'm sorry, uh, but that's all I had uh, actually recorded. Um, so if you want to check out uh, my second channel, you click on the right hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out uh, my GTA race video, I've been doing some GTA races uh, on my second channel at the moment. And uh, my, kind of my second channel is kind of my project that I'm working on right now. Uh, trying to get so a lot of videos out there, almost trying to, trying to do them daily and trying to grow the sub base on that. So if you're interested in that kind of like, some random game uh, videos and just uh, videos that aren't FIFA, uh, then please check that channel out and see if you like it. If you like it, then you can obviously subscribe. And if you don't, you don't have to. Um, but yeah, if you, want to, if you want to leave a like on this video, that'd be really appreciated. And I shall see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.